I'm dealing with a really serious topic right now. We've got a serious, serious problem. The last video that I made about the Nukaki, um, some well-meaning person suggested to me that we start a nuclear ban treaty. That's not a bad idea. The only problem is stuff like that is not going to be enforced unless we can get the heads of all major corporations and countries to cooperate with us. The Jesuits will just kind of act like they're co-op. The Jesuit leaders will just act like they're cooperating with the nuclear ban treaty, and they won't do it. The solution is all heads of any major corporation or any company or the military or any country must not be a Jesuit. And if they are, they must be replaced with a non-Jesuit head, or else that company or country will be in violation of international and conspiracy law. And what we can do is if we are not able to replace the head of that country or company with a non-Jesuit counterpart, we will, um, we are going to arrest that CEO or that uh, president as a Jesuit terrorist under conspiracy law. And that is a death penalty violation. You may say, don't you think this is rather extreme about the Jesuits? The Jesuits have done a masterful cover-up job making themselves look like they're a religious organization, when in actuality they are a military organization with a goal to a world takeover in order to set up a worldwide dictatorship. It's like to have a Jesuit as a CEO would be like having Adolf Hitler as the CEO. And let me tell you my experiences with what I believe is now a Jesuit company, Bright House Networks. This month, I... Um, I contacted Bright House Networks to inquire whether I could install the Walmart basic phone through their cable line. I wasn't sure if I could. And the guy says, oh, I have even better news for you than that. We can get you a better deal than the Walmart basic phone. We can actually lower your cable bill a couple dollars a month and then give you basic phone service at the same time. I thought, oh, wow, this sounds too good to be true. He says, yes, we certainly can. So he signed me up for it. And he neglected to tell me that there was like a $45 startup charge and that it did not lower my cable bill. My cable bill was $48.71. It actually increased it to $52. When I got my cable bill this month for $92, I about freaked out. That was the 13th of this November. I called Bright House and Bright House said, what is this? I was told that by installing the phone service, you would lower my bill, not increase my bill. And I said, I was given wrong information. My sole purpose for even agreeing to this was to lower my bill. And the opposite has happened. This is, I cannot afford to apologize. Apparently, there was a misunderstanding. I said, I really believe your representative lied to me. And I shouldn't have to be punished for, you know, for him lying to me and leading with false hopes and increasing my cable bill instead of bringing it down. She said, well, it's only $52. I said, I don't want to pay $52. I want, it was $48.71. That's what I want to pay. And I certainly don't want to pay $92. So she said, okay, I'll tell you what, we'll zap off the start off fee, but then your bill will just be $52. says, no. I says, I don't want $52. Uh, it's $48.71 is what it used to be. I don't want it to go up. She said, all right, well, I have, I tell you what we'll do. Well, this is it. But let me tell you, before I could even talk to her, I called somebody else and they hung up on me. Yeah, I got disconnected. Then I tried several more times and I couldn't get through. She was, so about the fourth time I finally got her, and then at first she was kind of, you know, like she wasn't going to give me what I, you know, what I wanted. And finally she said, oh, and we can lower your bill. We got a special deal and we'll only charge you $34 this month. So I was happy. I thought, oh, good. But just to make sure that they weren't lying to me again, on about the 16th, I tried to go online to find out what my cable bill would be for this month, also to plan my budget. And um, I couldn't get online. I mean, I would... First of all, I had to register to the, onto the website. When I tried to register onto the website, what happened was they said, we've we got to send a verification email to your email address. Well, the verification email, despite about 10 to 15 attempts, never arrived at my email address. I thought, for some odd reason, Bright House doesn't want me to log on to their website. What are they trying to hide from me? And then I tried chatting with somebody. And I, the chat window would come up, and then it would crash. And it would say, sorry, there's a problem. We can't get the 
uh, the chat window to work. Uh, it was all for, for about 20 different reasons. Like one time, I don't know, I tried removing cookies. I tried removing temporary internet files. Nothing worked. I tried restarting the computer. Nothing worked. The chat window would crash every time. So I couldn't chat with them online. Then I tried sending them emails to complain about the issue. The emails didn't go through. I thought, that's, I just gave up for that day. And then I, and that's when I called and talked to somebody on the phone about it was 9 o'clock that night, Danielle. Uh, and I said, I said, please. I said, um, I am being zapped with 92. A court. I said, well, I call, when I call on the number, I was able to call on the number, but I didn't like that because I'm being charged minutes, you know, to talk to them. And they always put me on hold. When I called the number, it said I owed them $92 this month. I said, why does it say, still say, I owe you guys $92 when I'm, you know, on the 13th, I talked to somebody and they told me my bill would be $34 this month. She goes, oh, I don't really, I don't know what happened. She said, but um, I think she said it will be taken off after the 6th. I said, after the 6th? I said, this is the month I need my bill to be down, not next month. <laughs> and then she said, okay, well, I think she put me on hold. I guess she went to talk to her supervisor. She said, oh, we're going to lower it to, uh, um, finally, after a lot of rigmarole, I mean, yeah, she's making excuses for everything. She finally said, she got kind of huffy, and she said, okay, we're, we're, we got your cable bill lowered to $34, and we, we have a credit there. And she said, I don't know what happened, but the home people somehow must have reversed the credit or something, so it didn't go through this month. But we're hoping we can get it through for this month, that it might be. I said, you know what you're hoping? I said, I dealt with this as soon as I found out about it. And, she, and then I said, also, you're online. When I try to get online at your website, why is, it, why is it that I have to agree to paperless statements before you let me log into it? She goes, oh, that sounds awful strange. Well, the first time, after the first time, it shouldn't do that. I, I thought, anyways, I've, got it, I've, I've agreed to paperless statements so that I'm able to log on to their website because that's the only way they'll let you on. <laughs> And I've decided I'm going to leave it that way. Though later they give you the option to remove paperless statements. But I remember reading somewhere in small print that if you do that, they can charge you more every month. So I decided I'll just leave it at, you know, paperless statements. This company is just like, like this, man. Just like a typical Jesuit company. Um, it's just, this is, I don't know when the Jesuits took over Bright House. But they must have done it pretty recently. Anyways, not only that. My dentist got replaced with his clone, and he lied to me and produced a false x-ray to make it appear like I had a big cavity in this molar when Jesus showed up and he said, your dentist went to heaven, Gail, and I saw him there, and he was a good man, but he's now been replaced with his Jesuit clone, and you do not have a big cavity in that tooth. You have a minor yeast infection in there, and he says, and he says I do not want you to get a dental implant. So the Jesuits are going to town with their clones right now. They're killing good people and replacing them with clones, and we need to make arrests about this now. We need, this is becoming a really serious problem, too, as they take over major corporations or they take over countries or militaries, and then they use that power and influence to give themselves funding for their like new cocky projects. We are never going to be able to defeat the Jesuits and their ability to use new cockies until we cut off their money. And we can't unless we are able to stop them from replacing CEOs with Jesuit clones. So what we need to do is we need to scan all the CEOs on this earth and all the heads of any major country or any country or, or any organization that has influence, even if it's a general, to determine if they are a Jesuit. If they are a Jesuit, they must be arrested as a Jesuit terrorist and it's death penalty to be a Jesuit. And we especially don't want them in a position of influence and power. And um, we're going to scan all major countries, all major corporations, all military organizations, or any organization that has power, money, or influence to determine if a Jesuit is at the head or in a position where they can influence policy in that organization. And we and demand under conspiracy and international law that they be replaced with a non-Jesuit counterpart. If that company or country or organization will not cooperate with us, we will expose them as a terrorist organization on our, 
um, Gabriel Chan of Fox News Channel, and also on our international broadcast news, which is the Russian version. We've had a Russian news channel like this for a long time under my conspiracy law, and under any other news channel that will cooperate with us to expose these organizations. And um, uh, they, they need to be replaced. We cannot afford to have Jesuits in powerful positions. Uh, we'll never win against these people until we get removed their Jesuits from powerful positions. So today, today, conspiracy law needs to be enforced. We're going to scan all the heads of all organizations out there. If we determine a Jesuit is at the head, that Jesuit must be arrested and removed from his position of influence and replaced with a non-Jesuit counterpart. And if not, that organization will be guilty of violating conspiracy law and will be listed as a terrorist organization. And um, while you're at it, you may want to, if the, co if the company has been replaced with a Jesuit head, you may want to scan underneath to see how the Jesuits have infiltrated that company. More than likely, there's very strong Jesuit infiltration and we'll need to make a lot of arrests. You might say, how do we start arresting Jesuits? There's so many out there. This is where we start. We start with the heads of the, of the corporations that they've taken over and then, and then work within that or and then start weeding out all the Jesuits and then we'll move out from there. And then start with the companies that are associated with me because those are the ones the Jesuits will want to get first. Like any organization that I deal with, uh, you need to scan them first. Okay, and I will report to you how this is going along. This is something we need to do because they're do already causing a lot of problems and a lot of damage. And they also uh, funnel money through these organizations to help finance their like new cocky operations and such things. And we just can't, we just can't tolerate this, folks, man. They, the Jesuits have already murdered millions with their new cockies, and it's not going to so we cut off their funding. So go ahead and start the arrests now. And, and the companies, once we determine that a Jesuit is at the head of any company, we're going to list them as a terrorist organization on our news channels unless they remove that Jesuit head and replace them with a non-Jesuit counterpart. So my men, you've done a good job. We need to get started on this. This is a serious problem, as you can tell by what I've just told you. Um, I don't think I'm going to get anywhere with Bright House as long as it's, it remains a Jesuit company. They're just going to keep giving me the runaround and have things go the way the Jesuits want and not the way that I need for my finances.